Okay, so you so you now have your JCSD number and your J Trader Pro account is now connected to your broker account. So you've gotten your JCSD number. You've gone through the process of adding it to your profile on the JTrader Pro platform. How do you go about actually selling stocks using the JTrader Pro platform? Well, it's pretty much it's pretty similar. Well, it's pretty similar to how you actually go about buying stocks. It is still a trade, so you would go to trade or place order. For this example, I'm going to use a place order option. Again, you have to select the account. But the first difference occurs in terms of the action. And instead of buy, which is automatically selected, you're going to select sell. Next, you're going to type in the stock that you wish to sell. And remember, you can only sell a stock if you already have it. Additionally, you're, you're only able to sell the stocks that have been... Now remember, you have to type in the ticker symbol here. Additionally, you're only able to sell stocks that you have that you have already bought so these are stocks that have already settled and remember also that the settlement date for a purchase on the Jamaica Stock Exchange whether it's a buy or a sell is T plus 2 meaning the day that the trade was executed plus 2 days so I'm going to put Cygnus So for me, I'm going to be selling my Cygnus shares. But remember, I can't type Cygnus. I have to type the symbol for Cygnus, which is SCI. And here it shows whether it's the SCI JMD or the SCI USD. I'm selling the JMD denominated stock. So I select. And then for the order type, they're pretty similar again I'm going to set a limit in this case the quantity of shares I'm selling is 200 and the limit price that I'm setting is And the limit price that I'm setting is $27 per share. For expiry type, I'm going to select good for day, which means if this trade is not executed today, then it will actually not go through. It will be cancelled automatically. And then I'm going to review the request. If I wanted to see, for example, what the, tr what the current bids and ask were, so what the current queue is for Cygnus credit investments, then I could click here. I'll actually open it in a new tab. It doesn't allow me to do that. I could actually click here to view Cygnus credit investments current queue. I'm not going to do that because I can already see that the current ask, the best ask is $27 and that the best bid is 26.9. So if I was certainly looking to sell my shares today, I know that I would have to bid, I'd have to put a limit price of less than $26.90. And if I was desperate and really needed to sell the shares, then I would probably put a limit price of twenty six dollars fifty 
I'm not, so I'm keeping my price of 27. Next time reviewing the request. Here it shows you what the gross total would be if you sold the 200 shares at $27 per share. And then in this case, the fees are subtracted from this total. So your total fees are $146.58. Check this and then you can confirm. It tells you here that your order has been successfully saved. And you can, uh, you can check the status of your order by clicking View Orders. And here is my request. You can see that it is queued. And if I wish, I could edit the order here to cancel it. which is what I'm going to do. So, given now that I've cancelled that order, if I were to click on Trade and click View Orders, so, there. Okay. so you can see that it is queued. Click in View Details, I can see the details of the order here, and if I wish to cancel the order, this is where I would have to do it. I could also edit the order here. Now because I'm not really looking to sell my Cygnus shares, I'm going to cancel this order. But that's it guys, that's how you would actually go about selling stocks using the JTrader Pro platform. I hope I hope this video has been helpful and if you would like to learn more about stocks and investing in general then feel free to subscribe to Beyond the Stock Price. Um, Subscribe to Beyond the Stock Price on YouTube at youtube.com slash beyond the stock price or you can follow me on Twitter at Devroid. That's at D-E-V-R-H-O-I-D.